Alright, so too much heavy stuff lately. Yeah. Let's just stick it with it. Oh, hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey Jamie. Ah, here we go. Damn, I, I, I literally was like thinking, is, is it actually Jamie? But yeah, it's Jamie. Um, Jamie? Ah, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I see. Are you all right? You look distracted. I'm fine, don't worry. If you say so. All right, uh, just grabbing my drink as I hit a lot of things. All right, Jill. Where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? The cage is a small little box included. Oh, that's convenient. No, yeah, that is pretty convenient. Four. Four's my cat. Some impediments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they entered my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. What kind of get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Yeah, as I said before, maybe the... I mean, Jamie had a target in the bank. It could have been Say, but you could have said, you know, why, why did he say Say? It could have, like, killed her because she's, like, injured and shit. But you never know. You never know. But I hope it wasn't Say. And it was, like, someone else. But it all points to Say. One, who else could be at the bank? Don't know. But, yeah. Um, optional... I'll give him just the regular good punch. All age and mix. Here. I thought when someone ordered a good punch, a good punch, you had to make a joke. About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, then, in theory, yeah. Gil's the one, the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of as, oh god, there was was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns, but it seems like it was some sort of an anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a if they copy such a silly stipulation, they'll be caught in the act. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it. Yep. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So, what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing, you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel une uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation when you say. I like to see what I do as bounty hunting actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. Alright, oh, yeah, alright. There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Yeah, true. Like if somebody just saw a crime. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests. But I'm not going to be the one dealing with us. It could be. Maybe he showed a bit of mercy to say, maybe. But that's just a, a theory I've got. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing, and I get paid for it, you could see it as bounty hunting. I mean, that's right. That's true. That's, yeah. yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. I'm surprised he's still in, like, business. Or maybe maybe it's a bit quiet, you know. Because he's kind of turning down the orders, you know, that people's like, Oh yeah, this guy saw my face when I was committing crime or something. And I wanted to kill him, but James like, yeah, fuck off. Alright, but let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Jamie asked for something bitter. That's a tad too broad a category. Maybe something manly would be better. Bit of manly? Um... Yeah, sure. A suplex for you, my friend. All on the rocks and mix. Here. Ah, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson's roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. 
After I was, I'm like dying halfway here. Bronson roots have more nutrition, more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements, supplements. I mean, uh, your grandpa knew what he was doing. Uh, it seems I've always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Ah, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and are talking to me here, it's weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay the way, mind you. Stay that way, mind you. Uh, t taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, yes. I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was like offering a tail to a bard kid. But yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jed Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch, his information equity was the best. Some even joke he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point he took all the bounties and didn't take a single reward, he was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posed was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it, all, send it all to my account, before shooting himself. Damn, why hasn't that been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that. A registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in a little to no time. What guaranteed is that is there that such an organization would actually be a trap. They could use the reg registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges, using their targets as evidence. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, Anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works, works independently. Were you part of that organization? I have actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a real rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Beside, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Or Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. Get me a beer, please. Sure. One beer coming right up. Here, one of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. Alright, cheers to you because I'm gonna take a drink. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Gillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting though, when I compared you two, it's obvious Gil Gillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Hold on a sec, guys. <coughs> As I die my dying. Still, he's one of uh, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Man, 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 man. 
Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situ situation. His nose must be itching after we talk so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and Gilligan. Gilligan? Why well, am I calling him Gilligan? It's Gilligan! Will do, will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone. Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I will just tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog. I'm sure I hope the next client changes that. So, you still work here, man. I knew it! Uh, I mean... Quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got on my job. I needed a drink badly, and I remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get you then? I'll have a bleeding Jane. On it. Ingram wants a bleeding Jane. Nah, it's been a while, Ingram. It's been a while. A bleeding Jane. One of these. Uh, three pound uh, delta. Here. Tastes tastes like just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So, where do you work at, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I could, I could follow the instructions and that's all they need. Recently I've been working with this Cilia girl, working on some experimental powered suits. My only duty is to give them my uh, give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds knew each know each other, and they recommended me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous, monotone, monotonous at times though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their house, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus. I guess. This almost became a bad day though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu Co crap. Even if Zaibatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would be still alive. King the head honcho just means his or her duties goes to go to the next rim jobber on the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days, seen too many too many action films, and where the rebel saves the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't. I just hate teenagers. It's interesting though. A big cooperation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. No shit. All right, give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. Coming right up. Once a big boy Zen star, four of each. Four of each. Here. Yes, it's just as nasty as I ever heard. As I've heard, I said. Why order it then? Not your problem. So, where's the red comment? My boss, she's... Jill, Four's headed your way. Let's play, Four, let's play. Oh, a customer, sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here, and a cat? The cat's mine, his name's Four. The dog just hangs around here. 
He looks well groomed, and his fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. He fucking counted it last time. He said that last time. Yeah. I'm the one who writes the script here. Congratulations. You scared a clown off. Four as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. Now go. Play. Or something. Right? Ah. You're back. What happened to say? Well, what happened with say? That cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You looked exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. Drope, too. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out that door at any moment. So, you missed Dorothy? Kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. Oh ho oh, ho, oh. thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We're so close to that AK though. Zero mistakes. Man, should I just like charge them with the heavier, more expensive stuff? I doubt it though. I'll just play it as like, you know, as I so please. Hmm, your electricity bill has been sitting around, yada yada yada. Jill's beer stash is running out. Buy some to prevent her from getting too distracted. Alright, let's buy. Let's read the news as well because I completely missed out. That means we missed like a bunch of plot. Maybe, we missed a bunch of plot. Uh... Oh, beer on discount, please be cheap. That is not. That is not cheap. You're gonna fucking bleed me dry. Shit. Okay, let's save it here before if I make the wrong mistake, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, shit, I missed like a shit ton. Alright. Um, ba 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 Let's buy uh, that beer. Oh, there goes my heart. Okay, let's read the news. Let's read the bloody news. My chair is bloody squeaking. All right, let's go to the dangerous you. Uh, this is about the uh, nano cam underwear, which is. Uh... All right. All right. Here we go. AM Township 64. Hype. Literally no games. Is there anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No, no, no. I'm going to Mario Monster Girl. Just want an actual gameplay this next time. Why would you want gameplay in such a... In a... Sukaban game? I don't know. Alright. Just talking about... This game. Alright, okay. How about the AE? The Augmented Eye. Alright, here we go. Monster Girlfriend, Chirari, 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 becomes the best selling video game of all time. The waifu revolution from 2010s is no longer a laughing matter, or stand out as a trend, has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technology, which allows people to live full time inside their computers. As a result of this craze, you shouldn't be surprised to know that the most, the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making, record, making it a record holder that won't quit. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer as I cough myself to... <coughs> God damn it guys, have we taken a step too far? With Monster Girl, is this a fucking anime with the Monster Girls? Mumumumumumuse, or whatever it's fucking called. Alright. 
Alright, the augmented eye. Uh, Sir Quincy says, I certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for certain rare food, fried chicken. I know it sounds a bit rude to say, I like a, I like something most people don't have access to, but I just can't deny my love for it. Rip. Damn, that means fried chicken is, is a luxury in this case, is, is that what he's trying to say? When you taste a chicken breast, like the ones that Kenta made, you just can't go back, Quincy declared to the augmented eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food since that's what people in the city like the most. And even though I hate it, no, I wouldn't ban it. I'd, I mean, I'd fucking reduce it then. Juice, how many are there? Uh, soccer pop popularity sinks us. Pro wrestling writers, oh shit, son. But I like soccer. And because of that, you're castrated. That's a nice little segment there. Alright, once was known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans has begun drifting towards the theor- thi What's that? Thi- wait, that's not even- th Wait, wait, Threat trickle. Yeah, th threat- th 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 Yeah, fuck it. That. Theatrical. There we go. Yeah. Magic as the pro wrestling illustration. The latest GSF tournament. Pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. Man, that's a lot of people in Glitch City. As uh, of uh, as of this moment, fans seems to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a le legit sport. Said a fan outside the GSF arena. People kicking a ball is buying a shit too. Good job, whoever said that. Kicking a ball is shit. It's basically a. Uh, Another variation of prostitution. Because you are loaning and buying our players. Even though that sounds weird. <laughs> Alright, off with my um, little grants there.